and welcome to my kitchen remodel. Today, guys, we're gonna show you a video of how I'm gonna remodel this project here for 2,500 bucks, all right? Now, this is a pretty good-sized kitchen, and if you've been following our video series, you know I'm renovating a double-wide trailer, 1,400 square feet, two bed, two bath, 1984, fixtures, flooring, finishes. That's what we're doing. We're trying to do it on a budget of 20,000 overall. We did the inside and the outside, all right? So it's a bit of a challenge, and I'll be honest with you, uh, the kitchen's kind of near the end of the project, and I'm running out of money. So the scope of work is really simple. We are going to be um, replacing the doors because these doors, I know on camera they don't look that bad, but they're all peeling and chipping and, and they're starting to get loose on the screws because it's particle board. So we're replacing all of them. We're keeping all the cabinetry. It's all stick frame. There's nothing wrong with it. We're going to be doing a refinish with the spray paint. Okay, it's going to be an enamel. We're going to spray that. We're going to change out the dishwasher, new countertops, new sink. And we're going to make this, we're going to change this. This functionality here is stupid. This, this place has got so much storage, it's not even funny. There's enough cabinets in here to cook a dinner for Thanksgiving for 20 people, but it only has two bedrooms. So we're gonna get rid of these stupid little cabinets up here and open this up, and we're gonna change this counter out, which is kind of like, um, uh, like a wheelchair height counter, okay? We're gonna change this out, extend the cabinet base, make an eat-in area here, and let the sunshine come in through the kitchen. That's just brilliant. We're gonna, of course, we're changing all the flooring and we're painting, blah, 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 blah. That's the plan. Now, um, I'm saving some of this hardware because I also have an office and we're gonna paint all that. We're gonna put the hardware over there. Cheap, cheap, cheap. You know, whenever, whenever you can save 20 bucks, you gotta do it, right? So, um, there's really nothing left to do but to start tearing this thing apart. And because everything here is basically made of particle board, it's not gonna be that tricky. So watch this, right? All it takes is a little bit of muscle and remove the trims. That's the only thing keeping this thing attached. Oh, here we go. I think go on the other side here, I think. Whew! That's actually installed better than I thought it was gonna be. All these trims put a pretty good bite. Let's see if that helps. Yep. Amazing the power of a brad nail, eh? Come on, honey. You attached over here? There seems to be. Wow. Okay, so that's unique. The way this was installed from the factory is they built the wall frame, put the counter on top of this, screwed it through the wall plate, and then they closed it up. So I just need a little bit more muscle here to break those screws loose. Okay. Wow. And that's it. Way to go here is. Uh, there we go. Whew, straight to the bin. <laughs> I thought I found money, but nope. <laughs> Let's just play money. Ah. Boy, oh boy. This kind of construction has more trims. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, now let's see how this was built. I think we're really smart. Instead of just smashing our way around here, we're gonna open up the wall and see if we can expose the screws holding this wall down. Because sure enough, Yep, one by three plate with screws. You don't have to work so hard if you work smart, eh? Hmm. Wouldn't have been as efficient. Wouldn't be as fast as just taking out a drill, eh? Throw 
Pull that one out. side. Okay. Whoop. That's the fork. Now, let's see. Yeah. I think in this case, just because of the weight of this, if I take it off as one box, it's probably going to be more dangerous than if I just rip it out one piece at a time. So, That. Oh yeah, the staples, eh? Eight million staples. Gotta be honest with you, this feels really therapeutic, right? Oh. Alrighty, now, now I can see the screws that are holding all this together. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing up there. Nothing into the ceiling. Almost too sharp for that. Okay, so the paint's not gonna hold this together. That's why I left this unscrewed, screwed in just a little bit so I can carry the weight as I pull it off. Oh, here we go. I'm holding this together. And away we go. Wow, that is ugly. <laughs> wow, that, that is ugly. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with all this, but now I know. It's just ugly. Ah, now this is structural which is a real pain, so it's got to stay. But it doesn't have to stay ugly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. That's nice, that's a joint right there. 
I can work with that. We don't have to reframe anything. I'm in a perfect world. It'd be nice if this was flush with the cabinets maybe, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just perfect for us. Oh, bloody staples. Yeah, all right. Let's take a look at what's in behind here. This is this quarter inch drywall again. All right. Again, before I go crazy, I want to see how it's installed so I can uninstall it. Looks like it's the same concept. It's framed, it's screwed, and then it's capped. Okay, so since I don't know what's going on here, I'm actually going to save this piece in case I need to salvage a little bit to put it all back together. I don't know, so better be safe than sorry. <sighs> and there's all my screws, all the way up through the top too. Wow, they really attached it to the top. <laughs> there's nine screws holding up a fake wall. There's two screws in the cabinet holding, or four in the, in the cabinet holding it to the wall, but there's nine on the top plate. Wow, that's, uh, that's overkill. Holy cow. You know what? I'm changing my bit out. Going to a longer one so I don't have to step on my, stand on my tippy toes to do this. That's just ridiculous. I'm a grown ass man. Like I'm trying to climb into the covers of steel cookies. Holy cow. Well, that didn't really grab my fit. There we go. So each one of these screws carries 80 pounds. That's about a thousand pounds across the top. Holding up something made out of one by three. Imagine that. Paranoia. Alrighty. <laughs> wow, does that ever open the place up? I am loving this. I can just see it. Eden bar. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just throw the rest of this crap out, clean up so I don't step on a nail. And then uh, we'll start on the kitchen countertops. Just a quick note. When you take off your hardware, put the screws back in the handles and use your fingers. Don't cross thread them. And grab one or two extras if you can, okay? Because it is not hard to cross thread these handles when you're putting them on. And if you do, your thread gets stuck and the handle's garbage and then you gotta cut it out. So just be thinking the end from the beginning. Know that about five to 10% of all the handles you install in your life are gonna get cross-threaded. It's not a perfect game. Okay. So the plan is to replace the new doors with new modern hinges, okay? And they actually make the exact same profile hinge in modern metal colors. So, <laughs> knowing that makes this really simple. This kind of picture frame cabinet, all right, it's really easy to screw to the surface. And when I go to refinish this, as long as I leave those holes where they are, I know exactly where the hinges go. Makes my life simple, right? Well, I've never really paid much attention to this before. Okay, so they obviously had a leak, had brought, they've lost their bottom shelf, they reframed, this is not built properly. <laughs> oh Lord. Whew. I guess that means that I'm gonna have to rebuild the bottom of this cabinet. Uh, I can't leave it like that. My day just got better. All right. Let's just get all these off. 
Um, the first thing I want to do is get access to all this plumbing. Turn off the water supply. Disconnect these hoses and see if there's anything leaking. Because these are the old multiple twists that means there's two gaskets. One to seal it in the on and in the off position. Most of the times they haven't been touched for years. And so when you go to close them, those gaskets are all dried out and they don't actually work. <laughs> and so they're still leaking water the whole time. So we might have to get some more caps and some paste and seal them up the old fashioned way. Or I can just turn the water off from the street. Uh, won't know until I get there. There we go. Now I can reach these screws. The pots and pans are the only thing left in the cabinet. And I'm just going to throw those in the stove once I move the appliances out of the way. It's good to have a system. All right. Let's see what we got here. Get all this crap out of here. Okay. Ah. At least it's clean. Ah, keep this handy. All right, so here's the hot. Tease off to the dishwasher. So first we'll close that one. Okay, and then to the sink. Ooh, that was a lovely gasket sound. Here's the cold, and it splits to the fridge as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's start with that. See that? I've already got water coming out of this handle. Doesn't like, doesn't like being closed. Let's see if it's leaking or not. Now I'm going to get some water in here. There's no way I'm not going to get some water in here. I can come out from here maybe. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm just fighting with the water to get it to spill out a little bit. And, yep. It's staying down there. That's good news. That means that's, that's sealed here at least. But it is dripping from the handle. Marvelous. Okay, let's get the fridge line disengaged. Now, all of these lines come with washers and the gaskets. All right. And so, generally speaking, a couple of quarter turns, and you should be able to undo it with your fingertips. As soon as I say that, I can't do it, right? <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Here, try that one. See if that one's not... That's just draining out because it's here. Let me just get the air out of the lines. There we go. And that's the totality of the water. Okay, now we're gonna just dry that up. I don't mind a little bit of water leaking out, but I don't wanna let it sit there and find a gap and make anything any worse than it already is over here. This has already got all kinds of weird bumps and <laughs> Lord knows what's actually happening. All right. Now, that fridge line is going to drain for a few minutes, so we'll leave it on some paper towels. All right. Well, that was the easy part. We're going to want to disengage our sink from our drain plumbing and leave all this plumbing in engaged. So, <laughs> fingers. That's nowhere near big enough of a wrench. <laughs> um, let me go grab my other one. All right, so most particle board countertops all have the same concept in mind, but different applications. In this case, there's a framing, and the screw holding the countertop down is under here going straight up. Okay, sometimes there's blocking or strapping. Look for the screws. The point is there's usually, every eight feet of counter, there's usually about four screws. Once you've disengaged those, the counter just pops right off. Show me disengaging. How's that for camera work? Oh, yeah, baby. That's the one. <laughs> That's going to be really hard to get that out. That's just been too many years. Okay. Ugh. Plan B. Those screws are all stripped. 
I think they stripped them when they put them in. Not uncommon when you're working in a weird space with a Robertson. Uh, the screws are all stripped. When they're putting them in, if you don't hold the drill, you hold your drill straight so that the shaft of this lines up with the screw. That will drive a screw in and out all day long. As soon as you go like this, you start making that square a circle. And when you're bent underneath, crawling around, that's exactly what happens. Not uncommon. So if your screws are stripped, here's what you do. It's, uh, it's just for mica. So punch it into smaller pieces that you can manipulate. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to just go at it from here. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to pry this off the screws. There we go. Felt that disengage. Oh, come on. What's going on here, Buzz? Oh, man, I lost it. Yeah, I lost it. I'm not above it anymore. There we go. This way. There we go. That's better. Hop off that screw. And there we go. Now the dishwasher is actually attached with, with screws. Okay. Oh. I better get those dishes out before I throw that away. <laughs> If your dishwasher isn't attached with these little clips, you check along the side. There's usually one or two places where they go into the side of the cabinet. Oh, yeah, every manufacturer is different. Now let's just stand in there in place. Okay. There, that one's disengaged now. Might as well keep up with this while we're at it, eh? That's all the fronts. Okay. Hey. All right. Let's break this into pieces that we can uh, manipulate. Here we go. make it easier for the sink because it'll be a separate piece but this countertop seems to uh, be all one piece it's a C shape eight foot by four foot cut into one piece of particle board so I got to break down through here so I can manipulate just the sink no worries can't damage the dishwasher it's going in the garbage anyway so sure that we're disengaging. There we go. Okay, or we can do it that way, I guess. Eh? All right, that's going straight to the garbage. 
Now, um, just a note, those water supply lines you saw in the sink, resist the temptation to try to save them and use them again. They're, uh, they're not built to be uh, attached and disengaged and then reattached again. All right, and they will fail. So, uh, and anything you're building, you know, in the kitchen, anything to deal with the water, go brand new. <laughs> Even little things like the, the gaskets that go into this connections, okay? When I go put my new sink in, I'm gonna use new gaskets. I'm not gonna trust nothing that's related to water safety because at the end of the day, uh, all that work you put in, one little leak, <laughs> it's all garbage. All right. Okay, um, uh, I don't want to damage my stove, but... There we go. I had to get it off those back screws. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's dangerous. This framing they have across the front, they didn't run it down the side. So that's just a sharp piece of melamine sitting there. It may not feel like it, but uh, for mica, these little edge cuts, these are all trimmed and then lightly sanded. The material itself is pretty sharp. So if you're dealing with an exposed edge like this, you run the risk, especially if your hands get damp, run the risk of cutting yourself up pretty bad. So this is for mica. It's waterproof. It's glued down. Uh, contact cement. Okay. These cut edges here are almost like razors. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. And that, that's how kitchen counters are made. <laughs> no wonder everybody wants to go to natural stone, eh? Okay. There's that screw. Right there, bugger. If it won't come up, it'll go down. Just get this out of the way. That'll pull it off the screw just as easily. Here's the other one. They have one in the back corner too. <laughs> oh, two of them back there. Oh, that was necessary. Okay. That's a real pain in the butt. Now, what I have to do now is actually have to grab my grinder with my metal blade and trim these screw heads off, okay? Because uh, <laughs> the screws are all stripped, I'm not gonna worry about trying to fuss around. I'm just gonna give them all a quick grind so I'm set up for success and I can clean up. <sighs> okay, one more thing. The face of every one of these cabinets these old drawers, uh, they have a trick to them. They are screwed together with the handles, but they're assembled with staples. I've seen this a lot of times. So if you're gonna change your door face, try to do it close to the up front here. Wedge something in there. So you're prying the door off. Okay. Sooner or later, you'll either cut through the staples or they'll lose their integrity and they'll give up. There we go. Bam, right there. All right, that's a lot of staples. No adhesives, so you win. 
but you can't put a new drawer face on if you don't do that. Oh, look at me. And I damaged the door anyway. Try coming in from the side instead. I'm going to try to do this so I can avoid having to rebuild all these drawers. Nope. This old particle board is not going not gonna to work well for us. Okay. Yeah. Well, in the next video, I'm going to be rebuilding the cabinet drawers. All right. Oh, well. <laughs> you don't win every time. All right. Here we go. We'll leave that alone for now. What a pain in the butt. Whew. That's a disappointment. <laughs> All right. dealt with this before but not with the yeah it's just too bloody old article board eh? it's hard to save wow Whew. all right another day we'll, we'll sleep on that one we'll have another solution in the morning um before i finish my demolition here, I have to manage my job site. Now, what I mean by that is this. The next step here, once I've got all the surfaces off, of course, is to clean, degrease, sand, and all that kind of jazz. We're going to be painting the cabinets. Um, i got to get the appliances out of here to do that. But before I do, I'm going to get rid of this nasty piece of paper transition. Yeah, there we go. Love that. God. Okay, just don't want to have any bumps in the road here. Okay. There we are. Beautiful. And the water supply back here. All right. There we go. Ah. Ah, okay. Woo. There we are. Pick up the slack. All right. Back for the stove in a second. Uh, yo, yeah. oh, nice. Lots of room on that cord. We can actually get in behind here. And that, my friends, is how they hook up your stove power in a mobile home. Scary. This box itself is not actually attached to anything. Totally against code in a home. <laughs> but this isn't a real home, is it? <laughs> oh. All right. Let's go. It's that easy to change a blade. Ah, oh, nice. Let's get these screws down before we forget. Uh, oh.
There we go. Nothing to it, eh? That's right. Anybody can take apart their own kitchen, paint their cabinets, change the counters, put in new sinks. It's not that difficult. And on this channel, I'm going to show you every step of the way as we go. Thanks for joining us in today's video. We'll see you next week when we're painting this bad boy. Cheers to next time.